Hello and welcome back to another out of spec reviews video. Behind me may look like a normal Tesla, however, it's not, so this is pretty cool. A few years ago, Magna, we're actually up here at a winter test facility in Northern Michigan with them, took this Model S, ripped the battery out of it, put a prototype battery in it, and then made it three motors. So it's sort of the Plaid years before the Plaid. Anyway, they said I could drive it. We're not here to test it, but uh, we're gonna go rip it around and see what it's like and hopefully learn a little bit more about the project along the way. <laughs> So let's take a look around some exterior modifications on this Model S. Again, they, it was just kind of parked in a corner and they said, yeah, go out, have some fun with it. So we have, first of all, the wheels are sitting pretty far inset with some negative camber, but it's pre-facelift Model S Euro spec. You can see the Euro license plate on this particular one. It's called the E1. And uh, it's a really interesting situation. Magna, of course, is a supplier. If I take a look here, let's see, does the charging port open? No, but we'll take a look uh, in a little bit. All the chrome bits are all kind of the same. It all looks pretty normal. And then of course you can see this snow push bar here and then just insane cooling under here. These giant radiators underneath, which just look absolutely awesome. So let's take a look inside. You can see a little bit of trunk space intrusion here, a very interesting material that just hasn't aged very well, but everything else seems to be pretty cool. Uh, you can see a high voltage sign under here. Everything works. So you have your power trunk, which operates as designed. And I want to show you guys inside too, because there's something, well, actually, let's take a look in the back. I'm seeing some uh, 12 volt and USB port upgrades, <laughs> maybe to power some testing equipment. I'm not sure. Let's take a look inside. You can see it's a, this one's a 2015. It was originally like a 70 D or dual motor car. Again, the battery pack's been ripped out with about an 85 kilowatt hour ish battery pack, at least when new inside. Yeah, it actually was an 85 D <laughs> pretty cool. And look, we're on old software here. I absolutely love this. And it seems like everything works. They have the charging limit set, 16 amp, of course, European car. You can open up the charging port even, and that works. The old magnetic one, you can see the Euro Type 2 connector. Wonderful. Everything is so well integrated in this particular car. <laughs> I can't believe we're getting to play around with this. You can see everything absolutely works. Magna E-Drive, 85D, it's on version 7. How about that? This is one of the coolest experiences. It's got the panoramic sunroof inside. Again, pre-facelift. It just seems to work well. Air suspension car, the cold weather menus. Man, do you guys remember this old software? Just amazing, amazing. Really cool that it's all integrated like this. Anyway, let's drive it. Let's let the brake booster build up really quick. Oh, a second. Creep is on. I'm here with Hogan. Thanks so much for showing me your Model S project. Uh, no problem. Thanks can you for driving. Yeah. Can you explain? <laughs> so I, I see here on this screen, we have three individual motors. The rear is connected with a clutch pack. Yes. And how much power does each individual motor make? So we have a three motor. It's mm -hmm. exactly the same spec. So we have the 160 kilowatt. 160 kilowatt uh, each. Yeah. So yes. this thing's really fast then. Yes. That's pretty wild. Yeah. And the battery is not a Tesla battery. Right. Uh, we we made, uh, not we made, uh, we, we put the our own the battery system. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Which way should we go here? We're out on the handling uh, course. Right. I haven't been out here yet. Mm -hmm. So, um, right now it's a rear bias system, of course, because yes. you have more yes. power in the rear. Mm -hmm. We are on snow tires. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm just going to get a feel for the course since I haven't been out here yet, if that's yeah, okay. Yeah, you can try comparable laps. Yeah. And uh, so Model S, the air suspension obviously still works. We have yes. it in standard. It's amazing how well integrated everything is. I love the old software though. <laughs> Just go headlights on. So this is like more of a road surface here, it looks like. And you can see a lot of people have gone off this way. Yeah. And so this is just a big left loop then. Yes. So vehicle coolant is low. I guess I shouldn't worry about that so much, right? Yeah. So ESP is on. Uh, ESP off. Oh yeah, it's on now. You're yep. now off. Yeah, well, I'd like to turn everything off. Traction, ESP, the whole bit. Yeah, it is off now. Okay, yeah. great. So now we can start to dance this thing around a little bit. It should be fun. 
interesting body control with the rears really nicely tuned um, to give you quite a bit of power back there. This is tight stuff, so we're not going for big skids. Yeah, we also have the torque factoring functionality, so it helps a little bit. Oh, so you can overdrive the outside wheel yes. to get some, some slip angle kind of like this. Right. <laughs> oh, that feels really good. Wow, really nicely designed <laughs> drivetrain tuning there. Yes. First skid, first impression, nice. Look at this, full send rally mode. Here we come into a tight section. Good tires on this, whatever you have. So there's the front axle pulling us out. Look at that, that was perfect. So once you come across center, it says, okay, we need front, front motor assistance here. Yeah, also we have the different drive mode, so you can try the dynamic mode. Is that what we're in now? Yeah, we are in auto now. So. We're in auto, so yeah, dynamics I, even more rear. Yeah, more rear. Let's try that. Yeah, I just changed it there. Okay, say no more. I love the regen, you can just get the weight up on the nose. Throttle uh, position is, is much sharper now. Yes, that's the different throttle map. So this thing sounds different. amazing, the motor sound. <laughs> yeah. Why Why did you, is this, is this in a production car? You mean the motor system? Mm -hmm. uh, maybe we can discuss uh, with the yeah, other Yeah, with the other guys. Yeah, yeah, yes. cool. But well, what a cool showcase vehicle. Yeah, look at that. Even more yeah. rear assistance, which is great. A little icy on the inside. Yeah. It's still quite odd to get used to the difference in tuning, but it feels yeah. pretty good. That just balancing it right there. Yeah. <laughs> it feels so nice. It's very odd because you have ice patches and then snow. Let's head over to a full circle section so we can get some consistent slides on. Yeah. So yeah, this is a dynamic, so we can make the more oversteering behavior. Mm -hmm. So once you hit the throttle, it's more power, and yep. you can make it easy to turn. Right. That makes sense. So here we're heading over to a we just. The sign. Uh, well, that's all right. We'll flip yeah. it on the way out. Yeah. Um, just a, let's just make sure we know my bearings here. This is a much bigger circle than we were at before. Mm -hmm. So we can come in here under power. And just do massive skids. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is amazing. Alright, we're going to go rip a fat skid. Watch this. And look, very little angle on the wheel. It's just keeping it right there for us. Yeah. A little icy there. Yeah, each the control and... Yeah. yeah. Do this all day. Yes. <laughs> wow, and the grip level with snow tires compared to what we were driving earlier is, is much better. it up too we can bring it in a little bit closer to center which is nice so really easy to control you know going from little skids like this just kind of keeping it on the throttle you know right close to this little cone and then we can even bring up some more speed and bring us out a little bit to the edges a little bit more if we feel a little spicy <laughs> that's awesome we can just ride the edge Well, thank you so much for showing me your cool Model S. No it's cooler problem. than a Plaid. I'd mm -hmm. like to see someone do that with a Plaid. Actually, yeah. you probably could with track mode now, but yeah. before there was no track mode. I need to switch this sign from do not enter, testing in progress. And that's real hardcore testing, we all know. <laughs> Thanks so much, that no was problem. great. <laughs> what a freaking blast. Oh, that was great. <laughs> Holy smokes. This, I want this car. <laughs> How do I buy it? <laughs> This thing rips. 
man, for 2015, that's good. That's amazing. It's definitely rear bias. Right? That's faster than whatever an 85D would have been. <laughs> So. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and there you have it a pretty fun run here in the model s with three motors i can imagine how amazing this must have been seven years ago almost to experience that level of acceleration that level of drivetrain control and just overall smoothness the motors sound healthy when you drive it too it always shows model s chassis really well balanced i'd love to get this drivetrain into a model three i think that'd be really fun but a huge thanks to the guys at magna for letting us take out their old prototype Model S for some fun, even though we're here to see some other things, which you'll find here right on Out of Spec Reviews. Talk to you guys soon. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.